the electric BMW iVision Dynamics will have its North American debut this week at the Los Angeles Auto Show, Photo, BMW. Los Angeles, the 21st century U.S. Auto industry is performing a skilled juggling act, and that performance is on stage this week at the Los Angeles Auto Show. Automakers are serving multiple masters. They are investing billions in self-driving technologies that many predict are the future of ride-sharing services and daily commutes. Yet, they must also maintain full-line product portfolios for driving customers on course to buy 17 million new vehicles for the third year in a row. The vast majority of those vehicles will be powered by cheap gas, yet carmakers must also meet the demands of governments like California that are forcing carmakers into a regulated future of battery-powered vehicles. This week, automakers will serve the future. Things get started Tuesday at the Staples Convention Center with the Automobility LA Conference that brings together automakers, designers, computer engineers, academics, investors, and others to share their visions of an autonomous future. Executives from Panasonic, BMW, and Waymo will speak on topics like redefining mobility in a connected world and roadside ransomware, fact or fiction. Their visions are hardly hypothetical. Automakers are already building self-driving chariots. Uber has announced a partnership with Volvo to put 24,000 Uberbots on the road starting in 2019. The agreement puts the company on a path toward mass-produced self-driving vehicles at scale, says Jeff Miller, Uber's chief of auto alliances. Google-owned Waymo and LYFT have also entered into partnerships with Chrysler, the Pacifica minivan, and Chevrolet, Bolt EV. On the convention center's floor, automakers will roll out their visions for an electric car future beginning Wednesday. Using California's clout as the largest auto market in the U.S., regulators here have set hard EV sales quotas, and state politicians are soon expected to follow the lead of European governments including France and Britain to eliminate the gas engine within the next two decades. Luxury automakers like BMW and Mercedes will display new, EV-focused product lines here the I-Line and EQ-Line, respectively, as they try meeting government requirements and compete with California electric startup Tesla. Even retro brand Mini Cooper will debut an EV concept. Yet, Tesla's inability to make a profit despite an average transaction price of $100,000 on its Model S and Model X electrics speaks to the difficulty of the industry's challenge. In California, rich with EV incentives and a battery-friendly weather, Hybrid electric slash plug-in electric slash pure electric vehicles make up just 9% of the market. Automakers aren't ignoring the other 91% of customers and the profit-generating vehicles they covet. Beginning Friday, the doors will open to the automakers' consumer masters and they will have plenty of good OL, driver-focused, gas-guzzling toys to ogle. Detroit automakers will roll out new versions of some of the most iconic vehicles ever made, the 755 horsepower ZR1 and off-road star Jeep Wrangler. Lincoln will showcase its Navigator Land yacht on the LA stage for the first time.